we all got together for dinner one night, and we were we were all sort of looking for something new to do, and uh, and this is it. I was working for a record label in New York. I lived on top of an antique shop. I became obsessed with antiques. I moved to Austin. I started working at Uncommon Objects. I sold antiques. Ted was managing Uncommon Objects. You know, I've been in retail since I was, you know, old and legally old enough to work. And so I think, uh, you know, that kind of always sort of guided, uh, you know, where I was going to be. We have that that corporate knowledge of big, big retail menswear, but we're, trying, we're, we're looking to do something different, and there, there is a niche for something different. Mm -hmm. um, we all have a, a sense of history from our vintage collections and our antique dealer backgrounds, much of which is rooted in late 1800s, early 1900s Americana, um, strong men, tough clothes, that last forever. You know, we're, we're a guy's shop. Um, Ralph Lauren Double RL is, is sort of our, our top end line, but and then we've got Bergman Brothers, who are these two guys, they're 28 years old. Um, they literally sell out of their apartment in New York City, but Barney's picked up their, their very first line. Uh, we're the only store carrying their stuff in town. We all have a uh, passion for sort of classic, um, just, I don't even want to say basic, but classic apparel that you know your grandfather would love, your father would love, and that you've loved. And I think that Austin is um, takes takes what is Austin and it embraces it and, and holds it close. And this whole block is sort of uh, a great example of local businesses doing that and being sort of embraced by the community. So we hope that uh, we hope a combination of all those things come together to to, to create a successful venture.